Hello, that's Halo with the Armageddon Report. So much to talk about. Let's start with the Northwest Pacific. Right, we have the equivalent of Category 5 Hurricane Jillowatt, also known as a Super Typhoon, as per the JTWC, with wind speeds of 161. Compare that to its somewhat of a neighbor, Tropical Storm Iwinia, with speeds of 52. Let's take a look at the satellite view. Look at that, look at that huge super typhoon, big monster. However, warning-wise, just a signal number one for Pegasa, which is the lowest it can get, and they're calling that one Typhoon Law Wind, has maintained its strength and continues to move towards the Kaigai. I have no idea, Kaigayan Batanes areas, or however that's pronounced. However, JMA-wise, marine warnings are in effect, apparently per Iwinia. We've got storm warnings. And there's some gale warnings around that, however, no typhoon warnings for anywhere at the moment. Near gale, way up there. So that's what's going on in the northwest Pacific. We turn that off and let's go on over to the eastern Pacific and see what's happening. First, we'll talk about that. 20% chance of tropical cyclone formation. Not a huge chance, then, is it? Category 2 Miriam is producing dangerous, uh, or is expected to produce dangerous surf and rip current condi conditions during the next couple of days. Right, so if you're going swimming, be quite careful or something of the sort. And then Nadine. I find this amusing. This is actually out of the official NHC thing. Pesky Nadine forecast to turn southward because I mean I'm presuming that because it's up to advisory number 52 you know the NHC at this point is probably just sick of talking about Nadine. Nadine just lives on forever and ever and ever. However no warnings in effect with that one and no uh, land hazards that's the word. No peligros effectando tierra right now that's right so the big one to keep an eye on, I'd say, is it? Well, unless you don't live there, then you don't have to keep an eye on, on, eye on it at all. Yes, it's Jellowat slash Larwin, or however these things are pronounced. Don't know. Yes, severe thunderstorm-wise, there is actually stuff to talk about. So let's make it slightly more visible. Visible, that is not a word. Visible. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, probably not Tennessee. Uh, maybe just a smidge of Arkansas, probably not. But that's where the slight risk area is today for a 15% chance of winds and hail. However, just a 2% chance of a tornado. This is the mesoscale discussion that's in effect right now. So that, you know, mesoscale discussions can precede watches. There are, however, if you go back. No watches nor warnings at the moment. However, isolated thunderstorm development is expected during the next few hours for this lovely little area of Texas, Oklahoma and Kansas. So, and watch possible, so 40%, so apparently nothing has kicked off yet with, or at least nothing severe has kicked off for this area yet. Here are the specific probability maps where this is the specific probability that an area will see severe winds, which would be 58 miles per hour or greater, so 15% chance, 5% chance around it, hail thing looks almost identical. So the hail is defined as one inch or larger, and a tornado of any size is a severe weather event. Is a severe tornado. Yes. Severe weather. Right, so what would the 2% mean and these numbers apply? I mean, these, this, what I'm about to tell you applies to any of it. But we could randomly pick this point in Illinois, and that means that that random point or someone within the 25 mile radius. So just picture that lovely circle of that point in the 25 mile radius. Yep. And that means there's a 2% chance that a tornado may occur in that, you know, circle type thing. Right, so 2%, not very big, but 15%, bigger. Obviously, if you're good at maths, you know that 15 is a larger number than 2. However, if we go back to here, basically nothing worthwhile to talk about yet. Now there might be some stuff going on tomorrow, but since it's only 5%, we'll wait until tomorrow to see what occurs or something. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screen, guys. WiggleWix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com and Cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E dot com. That's it for today and enjoy! Yeah, today. Enjoy. It's Tiz Dog, it's Dean's Dog, it's, um, yeah, it's Tuesday. Well, I think it's Tuesday. If it's not Tuesday, we're gonna be horribly embarrassed, yes. Enjoy your Friday. That would be even worse if I thought it were Friday. Anyway, that's it. Enjoy it.